So y'all can ask about tomorrow's practice right now. I'll improvise. Huh? I don't know. Yes, yeah, a little. I'm trying it out. Bug inspired me. Yeah. No, uh, really just everything. Um, I'm just excited for the season to start. You know, um, all season been fun. Uh, training with DeMarcus, a little bit with Drew, the team. You know, but um, I think the biggest thing for for me, um, you know, is trying to figure out how me and DeMarcus can make this thing work. Um, coming to last year, it was, it was kind of tough. And it, I think it was a lot of pressure on Drew, too, because he was trying to figure out how to get me and DeMarcus the ball while still you know, trying to be Drew, uh, well, the Drew that we needed him to be. So, um, but, you know, I think we had a couple – Good, um, mini camps, you know, and you know, got a lot of stuff accomplished. Um, so it's been a great off season for me, just seeing everybody, um, you know, come to Kentucky and, and come back here early to try to get things rolling. I know you get this question every year, but uh, what do you think it'll take to next level? Um, I did a lot of stuff uh, this summer with uh, one of our guys. Um, outside guy came in and working on like leadership, and you know. Uh, just trying to be a better leader for the team. Um, and it, it's helped me a lot. So uh, I think that's the next step, you know, trying to lead this team, you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, uh, to the, you know, our goal, which is um, ultimately winning the championship. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes, I mean, you know, you don't have to be, you know, as vocal, you know, as, you know, you see some other guys to be a great leader. Um, but, like I said, I never really had to say nothing. Um, I've always been, you know, you know, when Monty was here, he was Alvin, he, you know, so I never really had to, you know, say much. But, um, like you said, getting to that next step, you know, uh, that's the next step for me. Um, it's IQ. Uh, you know, he's a true point guard coming in. You know, looking to run a team. Uh, he's great defensively. Um, you know, his leadership, you know, his championship mindset. So we're excited to have him. Um, I think he can definitely help us tremendously, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, we got one year to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, we know. I mean, uh, like you said, Rondo's one year, cuz. You know, this is he's basically one year. Um, so it's like we got one year to basically figure it out. And um, I think this is the year for everybody anyway. Um, DeMarcus came to me this summer and said he has to win um, just for him. I mean, he never been to the playoffs. He just want to get to the playoffs. Um, he's buying in. He's doing, you know, things that he usually don't do in the summertime. Um, of course, uh you know, he, uh, he lost a lot of weight. Um, so he, he's all in. He's all in with us. And, you know, we're just trying to, you know, win for him, honestly. Uh, we went for him then. You know, that can lead to some great things. Mm hmm I mean, that happens every year with us. You know, people underestimate us. Um, you know, but we kind of, you know, put it upon ourselves. We always injured. You know, injuries play a big part with our team and our success and any team's success. Um, and when you hurt, you know, especially with a lot of key guys, um, you know, it's it's tough. You know, to win, and especially now when you have two, three, maybe even four, you know, superstars on the team, all stars, and. No, uh, and his West, you know, he just got loaded, even more loaded with Melo going to OKC. So, um, you know, we just got to come out and, and just play, be prepared. Uh, I think we got the roster to match up with anybody. I think we can beat anybody. Um, you know, but we just got to put it all together. Oh, uh, very important. Uh, like I said, with this, you know, powerhouse of a Western Conference, it's, we can't afford to start over on eight uh, or in five or in whatever. Um, you know, if that happens, then you know, we definitely, you know, digging ourselves a hole early and 
you know, where this conference is, it's, it's probably going to be tough to get out, out of that hole. So we got to make sure that we come out and, and come out with a fast start. Um, like I said, we got the we got the team to do it. Um, you know, I think it was a great thing of adding Finch to our uh, to our coaching staff, and um, he got a lot of good things you know, for us um, as far as offense. And then, of course, our defense is only going to keep improving. Uh, adding Tony Allen uh, and Rondo, um, for some of the best defensive players in, uh, in the league. So, um, you know, I think we're going to be better this year. Uh yeah, um, you know it's got a lot of open shots. Um, you know he he, he has so much of a presence on the floor. Um, and I think with him he can he can shoot it too. So you know guys have to have the bigs have to respect you know him all the way out to three, um, which means there's nothing but you know room down there for me to operate and vice versa. So um, you know we both got a lot of open shots, and with the addition of Rondo, it's only gonna be more open. Um, I think so. Uh, I can't remember all a lot of other teams, um, but I think right now, I mean, you look at our, our roster. Um, all of our guys can easily be in our rotation. Um, so I think that's probably the best, um, well, it's the most talented roster we had right now. But you know, it's that's nothing but paper right now. You know, we got to go out there and, you know, and uh, go out there and prove it. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, we're not going to go small because other teams are going small. Um, we're going to try to punish them inside, um, and that's what coach stresses stresses us to stresses uh, to us every time. You know, um, you know, we're not going to try to switch up our lineup. You know, because we're playing, like, for example, Golden State when they go small. Um, we're going to take them to the post and just try to you know, overpower them. Um, and then come back defensively, you know, and, and you know try to do our thing on the defensive end. But um, you no, know, that's the way the league is. I mean, everybody's going small, everybody's playing fast, and um, that's not going to change it. And we're going to still try to play fast at the same time. Which position do you personally prefer to play? Hmm. Which position do you prefer to play? What position? I, prefer, I don't care. Uh, as long as I'm on the floor, uh, that's it. Drew, no. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah, I kind of offer everything to Drew. Uh, my house, cars. I'll buy him a house. I just, I just come back. Um, but we happy he resigned. Um, he he's he's a huge part uh, of our team's success. Um, you know, and I think this is a actual first training camp he's having with us. You know, he's been hurt, so we're excited about that. But, um, Drew, I mean, talented player offensively, uh, talented player defensively. Um, he's very passionate about the game. Um, and he does some things and um, pick up the summer day. It was just, just wild. Like, we literally stopped pick up. and like, show us what you just did. Like, it's, he's amazing. Um, so he was definitely – uh, you know, the biggest target for us, you know, to try to resign this summer, um, to keep moving in the right direction. And losing uh Solomon obviously is good just to have that one defender and uh Dale talked about a little bit that if you're gonna have a responsibility to guard more perimeter guys this year with how big is that for you? That was big. I'll take on the challenge. Um like I said we've been me, Coach Erm and I have been working on a lot of defense. Um I feel I feel great. Um, I try to guard uh, a lot of wings or guards, and when we play pickup and stuff like that. But um, no, nah, I look forward to the challenge. Um, but we also got other guys who you know can fill in that position. You know, uh, the threes, um, and we're looking forward. We're looking forward to the challenge, man. As, just as a team defensively, uh, you know, eight is good, but uh, we want to be in that top five. Um, you know, adding Tony Allen and. 
Uh, like I said, Rondo, I think they can get us there. And then we have Darius Miller as well, who who plays a three, um, who's a solid defender. Um, but I, I, I don't mind, you know, guard, you know, the threes in the league. Right. Yeah, um, just wanted to win, you know. Uh, you know, Rondo coming over, you know, telling us the stuff they used to do uh, when he was in Boston. Uh, even last year, Demarcus came in during the season. He always say uh, Sacramento will he'll take Sacramento somewhere, and they go, you know, spend a weekend or a week or whatever with each other, and, and you know, do whatever. So, uh, like I said, we we never really did that. Um, and so, you know, them guys just coming over and, and bringing that with them to try to make our team better is huge for us. And um, it's there. The chemistry is there. Um, we just got to continue to build on it um, and just play for each other. But I think we have that right now. Um, like I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you know, we got to go out there and prove it. Scott mentioned the one-year deals. You know, you've know, you got one year to make this I don't know what's uh, going on over there. That's, I worry about the guys in that locker room. Uh, I trust our front office to do a great job with all of that. Um, but like I said, it's, it's a team sport, you know, from you know players, coaches, organization, uh, front office. We want to, you know, win, you know, um, you know, for each other. And so, um, you know, we don't have to worry about any of that if we win. You know, so that's what we're going to try to do this year. Um, like I said, the team wants to win. The players want to win. Uh and so that just helps everybody out. Um, we have a dinner tonight. We're gonna discuss it. Um, Coach and uh, Dale kind of you know ran over it um, and told us that we're gonna discuss it tonight over dinner uh, in our team meeting. So uh, I know it's been a huge thing going on, um, and everybody's you know especially here in New Orleans waiting to see what we're gonna do, um, but. I'm pretty sure about tomorrow, Coach, at, at the at end of practice, Coach, I have something for you guys. Um, but we, you know, we're going to discuss it as a team and, and go from there. How involved are you at this point in the offseason? I know you said Dell keeps you involved. Yeah. Obviously with Rondo, you know, that was something you knew with Dean Clark. I mean, how much are you focused on, you know, the building of this team? Or is it really just kind of bounced off you before it happened? No, um. Yeah, they – well, what usually happens is, uh, you know, they'll come come to me with, you know, some players, you know, you know, what do you think about this, what do you think about that, how you think it's in our system, uh, things like that. And I'll tell them how I feel. Um, and he always, all right, you know, and then we, you know, go back and forth throughout, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of days, whatever, and uh, talk about it. And sometimes I get on the phone with, you know, some players and uh, – you know, talk to them and, and see what they think, and and then before it happens, you know, um, probably a day or so, he he'll call me and, and let me know, you know, what's the update, like we're gonna do it or we're not gonna do it, what the players thinking, uh, and then it goes from there. But um, you know, I think they, you know, keep me involved uh, uh, well enough for me to be satisfied. Um, uh, Olympic Carmelo is he's I seen him score in 2012 uh, 35 points in 14 minutes I witnessed it I seen it so uh, if he's turning to that mellow they're going to be a really really nice team um, but once again in the west so uh, they just add firepower to the west uh, well he does and um, so it's going to be it's going to be fun for us